Election officials in Georgia are sounding the alarm after the state election board voted on several controversial election rules, which includes a rule that passed that would require poll workers to conduct daily counting of ballots by hand. So that would delay the election results for weeks, if not months. Now, the vote on that was three to two with the three Trump allies supporting move, whereas a Democratic and independent GOP appointed member, the board strongly opposing it, calling it an added step that could delay the result of the presidential election in the battleground state. Now, the office of Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr, Republican, previously warned the GOP run board that this move would likely be unlawful because state laws do not allow election workers to hand count ballots before the votes are officially counted. So there is hand counted uh, ballots or at least hand counting of ballots during a recount where you need to make sure that it lines up with and that you didn't miss any votes or have any votes uh, counted that shouldn't have been counted. And so they did these recounts during the 2020 election and found out that it pretty much aligned with the tabulated vote counts. So that's very, very important context because the whole push for this all hand counted ballots all the time is this idea that there's massive fraud, which there is not. They could not prove it, but they're moving ahead with this anyway. So now, Carr's office said that these proposed rules are not tethered to any statute and therefore likely the precise type of impermissible legislation that agencies cannot do. So that's very important, which means probably the Republican legislature is going to later try to ram this rule in that allows this to be okay. So since it's already been uh, it passed by the election board. Uh, now, this is... Uh, now, one of the big problems, other than, you know, the obvious problems with the hand counting of the ballots, um, you know, leading to massive amounts of delays, is that this is really, really close to the election. Okay? They're changing the rules this close to an election. That should not be allowed either. Uh, now, other proposals also included new ballot reporting requirements and expanded access for poll watchers, which, to me... Poll watchers is just essentially voter intimidation. That, that's the whole purpose of it, okay, to intimidate voters. Um, so, but here we go. We have three weeks before early voting begins and six weeks before the election, and you've got Trump people throwing a wrench into the whole thing. The timing of this is not a coincidence, okay? Now, that said, some of these rules will not actually be able to be enforced now, but the biggest one that can be and will be now is the hand-counted ballots, assuming, of course, that uh, Attorney General Chris Carr is not successful in being able to stop them from enacting these rules, at least during this election. Uh, now, according to the Georgia Association of Voter Registration and Election Officials, any additional changes to the rules could interfere with the ability of poll workers to conduct elections and increase the likelihood of mistakes and delays with the elections. I think that's the whole point of this. That, that's the whole purpose of doing this vote. And enact, it's not about, oh, we, we got to make sure that the elections are, you know, legitimate. We, we got to make sure that the results are, uh, you know, that, that, we, we have, that we have secured the election against all of these. No, 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 no. The more mistakes that you have that can be from these hand counted ballots and the longer it takes to count those ballots the more that Donald Trump and his allies can attempt to sow distrust in the results. It actually runs counter to what the Republicans claim they're doing this for. Remember, no, no widespread voter fraud in the 2020 election. No proof, no evidence, no nothing. And yet, the Republican Party continues on because they're like, Just forget about the evidence. Just forget about it. We don't need no stinking evidence. It's in our gut. We know, we know that there was fraud in the election. We just know it, even though there's a massive amount of uh, evidence to the contrary. Doesn't matter, because it's not about evidence. It, it is about trying to help Donald Trump be able to sow distrust in this election to help him with his fake elector scheme. They're gonna try it again. Again, this election, the, the 2020 election was secure, but because Trump lost, 
He continues to claim that it was massive voter fraud. And now one of the states that helped Biden win in 2020 has been thrown into chaos in order for the express purpose of helping Donald Trump. So now you do have people pushing back against this, as I mentioned before. Uh, Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger has also come out against the election board members. Uh, this is after they held a July meeting that violated the state's open meetings law. And it's called for the board to not adopt new election rules within the 90 day window of an election because of the chaos. Uh, but again, they don't care. Chaos is, is, their, is their game plan. They want to create this chaos. They want to create all of these uh, you know, issues so they can go and say, oh, well, look at that. It mass must be massive voter fraud if, uh, Com if, if Kamala Harris wins. It must be voter fraud. I, I mean, look how long it took to count the vote. Stop the vote. Stop the vote. You remember Donald Trump saying stop the vote? Stop the count on the election day? Yeah. They're going to try it again. No. Look, uh, a lawsuit, though, was filed by the Democratic Party of Georgia, which seeks to declare the state election board's recent rules invalid. And you had two Republicans last week that filed a lawsuit to block the new election certification rules. Uh, and you also have a bipartisan group of influential former Georgia political officials that has crit criticized the conservative election board's members, recent rulemaking actions for contributing to undermining voter confidence, which, yes, it's exactly what it's doing. So, look, I, I do hope uh, that they can prevent these from going in into effect. There's a lot of opposition, and thankfully there's even Republican opposition, which um, I'm surprised, but yet heartened to see. So at least there are people out there that are saying, no, please do not do this. This is going to cause a lot of issues. Because um, the last thing that we need here in this election, which is so important, is an unnecessary delay in the results, errors, uh, and the, uh, you know, election results basically being undermined by Republican effery. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.